So now that we have our Seek Scan software installed, we're going to talk about how to customize it. In this case, for me, out of the box, it gave me 37.5 degrees Celsius. I'd like to convert this to Fahrenheit, so we're going to go ahead and go to settings on the top right. And as you can see, Seek is actually great because all the settings are in one place. You don't have to click different windows or different areas. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to Fahrenheit. I'm also going to keep sounds as is. I do want to sound when it passes and also when it fails. Uh, I'm going to keep show temperatures. I do want to see the temperature. I'm also going to enable show skin temperature just to be able to see the skin temperature and the body temperature at the same time. And I'm also going to go ahead and enable save images. As you can see, this was not checked. So this is great for those that need to have some PII compliance. If you do want to save your scans, we're going to go ahead and save it. And I'm going to go ahead and close the Seek Scan settings. And I'm also going to go ahead and close the application. This will actually apply those settings. I'm going to go ahead and reopen this. And now the cameras are both loading. You can also see that we have a temperature reading in Fahrenheit. You also heard the pass alarm. As well as the bottom left, you can see the skin temperature reading of 97.3 degrees Fahrenheit. On the bottom right, you will notice that it gives you a graph here. This will graph as you do your scans. And that also has a threshold limit. So basically when that fail alarm should tr trigger here. I'm going to go ahead and lower this to temperature below my current reading. I'm going to make it 99.0 degrees Fahrenheit in this case, and I'm going to step out of the frame. And this will trigger the fail alarm. And as you can see, it does. This is how the fail alarm shows up as well, so it's very easy to read. And we can also look into the other setting we applied, again from the top right settings. We wanted it to save images, so images are saved in C, and we can open this here. So I'm going to go ahead and type my PC, go to my C drive here, close the temperatures, and go to data, seek scan, and again it will label them by the year and the month here, and again the month and the day, and it's going to give me two different uh, files. So one is the face temperature log. The other one's going to be the screenshots. I'm going to go ahead and open the screenshots. And we have a fail. And in this case, it's showing the fail screenshot. So again, if I open one of these, it shows the actual application as well as the thermal view and the visible light view. So it's actually great. You can actually be able to see them all at once. If I go back to screenshots, I can also see the past screenshots. And again, the same process follows here. You may have noticed that in the seek scan folder, after you go into the year and the month and the month and day, there's also a face temps uh, Excel file here and or CSV file. This one will actually give you a log of the temperature readings. So we're going to go ahead and open this. And as you can see, it's a very simple file with a timestamp, the reading. So again, this was the original file we had with the Celsius and the current pass or fail.